Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 21st through the 27th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages as well. All right, Cancer, so I did just have the Ace of Pentacles flip out. Here is the star. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right, what does the sign of cancer have coming up for this week? Judgment. Okay. The High Priestess, the Four of Wands. Page of Cups, Princess of Cups in this deck, which this card has been coming out for almost all of the readings for this week. So very interesting. All right, Cancer, so now we just need an overall energy for you guys for the week. Cancer. Overall energy for Cancer for this week. As you know, I always take the card that's upright, which is the Nine of Pentacles. Very nice, Cancer. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Very nice. Let's see. For some of you, you have this very strong healing energy around you, Cancer. For some of you, I feel like this is emotional for others this could be physically um, you could be recovering from something so maybe you haven't been feeling well um, I possibly am even reading for some cancers maybe you recently you could have uh, hurt yourself um, could have broke a leg or something could have happened could have broken uh, a bone some of you, this is you physically recovering, physically healing. Ace of Cups, wow. Three of Swords. The Lovers. Some of you, Cancers, this is a loss of a relationship. For those of you that this is on the business front, it could be a loss of a client, loss of a contract, uh, an agreement or an arrangement falling through. So yes, we see a loss for some of you, but we also see lots of healing energy coming in, like I mentioned earlier. We do see you moving on. We have the Six of Swords here. You're moving on. You are healing. Now, with the lover's card, a decision. 
might have been significant. So either you having to make a decision cancer or maybe the person that you were dealing with having to make a decision. And this is definitely not an easy decision. So maybe if you're dealing with a three-party scenario, if you were dealing with someone who's already involved um, with somebody else, they might have chose the other person. Three of Swords energy, all parties, all parties get hurt. It's it's a tough situation. So, I am reading for some Cancers. You are maybe newly single. We have the Nine of Pentacles as the overall energy, which certainly isn't a bad energy. Like I mentioned, you're recovering, you're healing your heart. Some of you could physically be healing. You know, maybe you weren't feeling well or physically there might have been something wrong but I do see you healing I think you're loving yourself with the ace of cups and the nine of pentacles you're loving yourself some of you you're loving your life nine of pentacles uh, very very independent energy but she's someone who has got it going on. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Nine of Pentacles, uh, this person has worked very, very hard to be in this, in this place. So feeling financially secure, money coming in, money is looking good. And you know, money attracts money. So when you're making money and you're grateful and you're working hard, you know, you just uh, continue to attract more money. We do have the Ace of Pentacles coming in. More money coming in. So very nice. If this is something you wanted to achieve, you're absolutely achieving it, Cancer, with the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. This is feeling secure. This is reaching a place of feeling financially secure. You might even be going out. You could be throwing some sort of event or party, maybe attending a party here this week. There could be some sort of celebration that's taking place. And if you are newly single, I mean, some of you are still healing. But if you are newly single, I mean, there could be lots of um, attention that's going to be coming your way. Lots of people may be, may be admiring you, Cancer. We do have the Page of Cups here, which keeps showing up, which could be lighthearted, fun, flirty communication coming your way. Maybe from an Aries. Very strong Aries energy. King of Wands here. Fire sign energy. Could be giving you some attention this week, Cancer. Strong Leo. Leo and Aries energy I'm getting. Could also be an Aquarius, a Scorpio. Maybe a water sign. So it could be a fellow Cancer. Could be a Pisces as well. But you're looking good. Some of you looking good and you're going to be feeling good feeling better because I, I am getting uh, you recovering cancer, emotionally healing, loving yourself. You could even be splurging. For some of you, I am getting that. But you're letting go of the past. You're letting go of the past. And that three of swords, if it's not a loss of a love relationship, it could be something with family or a friend. Your heart is healing. Your heart is healing. And for some cancers, you're healing financially. But I see you letting go of the past. For those of you that have a legal matter that's ongoing, 
for some of you, it could have just ended and things went in your favor for other cancers. There's good news coming in. Now, this could be something you were hoping for, something you were wishing for, but we do see success. And you now able to move forward and let go of the past. I see you rising up. No matter how you resonate with this, I see you rising up from a difficult time. I see you recovering emotionally, financially, for some of you physically. And um, you feeling secure. You feeling very secure. Some of you feel as though you have that firm foundation, that solid foundation. Now, I could be reading for some cancers where a child is significant. So it could be a water sign child. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. Um, this could be your child, but it also could be a niece, a nephew, or maybe like a best friend's child, someone close to you, their child, a child being significant here this week. If there was a secret in regards to a child, that could be coming to light. You might be hearing something about a child cancer here this week. And for some of you, it's going to be most likely a little boy, but I mean, it could be a girl as well. There could be something with a son, there could be something with a nephew or a grandchild, a grandson. Something from the past could be surfacing here. I don't see it as being negative whatsoever. For some of you, what is coming to light is going to allow for this healing energy to come in. It's almost like something needs to be revealed. Now, it might have something to do with the child. Others, um, it's just something from the past. So it could be you and a King of Wands, Cancer. Maybe something needs to come to light. So this person might need to say something you might need to say something to this person so maybe both of you can let go and move on And those of you that did break up with someone, maybe someone even chose the wrong person. That's a possibility if, you know, a decision was significant in the past. Someone could be trying to come back. So this King of Wands cancer might be trying to come back. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You are recovering. Some of you are doing very well in business. Could even be reading for some cancers where you're purchasing a home, you're purchasing property. This person definitely is aware of that. You're doing well. And so this person could be trying to come back in. So this, this for some of you, this person that's king of wands is an ex trying to come back in, Cancer, and it could be because they see you doing quite well. And so, it's on you, I mean it's on you. I'm just seeing what else I'm, I'm getting with this. I do feel like for some of you, you will forgive this person. You might have a child with this person. Um, 
but for some of you I feel like you will forgive this person now it's going to be whenever you feel like it's it's time so uh, for some of you cancers this won't be maybe tomorrow this is a process um, maybe you're going to take some time uh, yeah and maybe watch this person see what they're going to do here in the future so it's going to take you some time to actually forgive this person but let's pull you an additional guidance card very very specific read it's a beautiful reading uh, we see you healing. We see you recovering. Ace of Pentacles coming in. Ace of Cups. We have the Sun, which is happiness. You feeling truly content and secure, stable. Money coming in. A past opportunity could also be coming back around here this week and for others this king of wands could be an ex for some of you uh, who maybe wants your forgiveness okay so far too many as you can see but we do have dreaming here at the bottom interesting so with the star and dreaming for some of you a, a dream a wish is coming is coming true judgment can represent second chances The nine of pentacles, this person, they know their worth. So no matter if you're male or female, if you do have an ex that's trying to come back in, you know your worth. For some of you, you're going to make this person work for it, which is good. And you're going to take your time and, and judge this person, see if maybe they've changed. Interesting, yeah. We have so much healing energy here in this spread, Cancer, and now we have re-energize. So yeah, recharge your batteries. This is you loving yourself. For some of you, healing emotionally. But yeah, recharge, rest. And um, then, yeah, we see you shining bright. We really do. It's a beautiful reading, Cancer. So I hope that you found it helpful. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right, guys, stay safe and have a blessed week.